Hi you guys, my name is Gushiki and welcome to my beautiful channel. <laughs> this is your love, sex, and romance reading for all. Um, I believe it's water signs. So for Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Alright, so we're going to get right into it. Keep in mind this is a general reading. If you want something more specific to you and your energy, you can book a reading with me in the detail box below. Um... I do have readings called Who is My Soulmate and What Are Their Characteristics. Um, so first um, first of all, my guys are saying good news is in your atmosphere. So um, there is a lot of partnerships and alliances happening this month for a lot of you guys. You're in perfect alignment. So Hakuna Matata means no worries. Um, <laughs> very, very good energy is in this reading. Um... Your crush smiles at you um, soon. They keep saying this. It could be today from the day you watch this video. Um, but you're making someone very happy soon. Um, a lot of you guys are working very well with your sacral chakra. You could be diving into a lot of creative, creative projects, poetry, um, things like that. Dancing, belly dancing, tantric sex, um, yoga yoga with your spouse you could be um a lot of tantric sex is coming up so if you want to try new things with your partner that you already have if you're coupled um definitely look up tantric sex and um it's indian culture is coming up so if a lot of you guys are very obsessed with the indian culture and their sex positions and um even wearing their clothes or making clothes that's similar to theirs can help you you know, dive into your sexual energy. Um, so a lot of yoga together with your spouse could make your sex life better or make you feel more relaxed and calm and welcoming to one another. Um, a lot of you guys are considering marriage soon. Um, if you've been with someone for a long time, you could be getting married with them. You could be proposing. They could be proposing to you. Um, you guys could be talking about major changes as far as starting a savings account with each other trusting each other in those matters um a lot of talks on going on adventures together traveling together and so forth so a lot of growing with couples are happening this month soulmates come together soon as well as well as i look at this reading if you've been seeing a lot of twos a lot of dragonflies and pairs um your soulmate is coming quite shortly here um again there's a lot a lot a lot of togetherness in this reading um People reaching out to you, making amends, receiving love letter letters, gifts. Um, your exes could be apologizing to you soon. Um, things like that. You could be having coffee with the ex, making amends, closure. Just a lot of feel-good energy, a lot of leaving on good terms. Maybe some of you guys have exes that you actually left on good terms with that you hang out with again. Um, you could be starting a friends with benefits soon. But all is well, all is running smoothly, um, and you'll be reaping your rewards soon in your love life. Um, some of you guys have a partnership where it's mutual, where you have a mutual understanding. Like, oh, it's just sex, it's just this, we're just friends with benefits, and that's cool with me, that's cool with you. Um, a lot of you guys are considering an open relationship even, where you just kind of go with the flow, you don't label things, um, you just see where it goes. That's probably the best thing you guys can do in this sign um water signs is literally just go with the flow go where the river takes you um try not if you've been a person who's been like a perfectionist and label things try not to for a change um take risk in your dating life if you want to meet new people maybe go out to bar scenes dancing clubs jazz watch live music etc um even join a cruise ship um where a lot of singles tend to <laughs> uh go um definitely a lot of soulmates and twin flames coming together um you could be sharing a room with someone soon um that basically sparks your interest uh you could be talking about a living situation that benefits the both of you um even if you're friends with benefits you could be like i know we're only friends with benefits but do you want to you know get a room together etc um, it could be someone just wanting to date you in that way who pay for who pays for everything like hotel suites and lodge um 
But basically, you have to determine if this is a situation that you want to have with this person. Um, and definitely a lot of being spoiled soon. Um, a lot of you guys are finding stability with someone. Um, you're settling down. So basically, a lot of you guys, if you have not found this person already, you're finding someone who makes you want to settle down who basically you pinpointed this is who i want this is who i want to be with i'm not leaving i'm not going anywhere else this is who i'm going to marry and basically if your person always floats from person to person place to place things to things you never seen yourself settling down but this person for some reason you know has has had you your fi your feet rooted since day one um Basically, that's that's good news in a sense, but it still makes you nervous, I feel. Um, but this person definitely, definitely um, is very attractive to you, very um, gentleman or gentleman like. I feel for some of you, that, some of you, um, if you're not a gentleman uh, yourself. Um, for men, this may also mean women who make you want to settle down and have children kind of thing, um, starting a new home, a family together, etc. A lot of you guys can be needing partnerships like that, which kind of throw you off your equili equilibrium because a lot of you guys are used to like the single life, but some of you guys are getting quite up there in age now and you're kind of understanding like, I want more, you know, I'm done with like the dating life, playing around, dating multiple men or women. It's really no fun in that anymore. So some of you guys are definitely, it's a lot of settling down energy, a lot of, um, having children making babies um just deep deep meaningful conversation with this sign and that's really really amazing it's very romantic energy um with this reading i hope a lot of you guys get what you ask for um in love it's very romantic feeling it makes me feel like i'm in love and i don't even know who's for um it could be that someone in your atmosphere is in love with you and you don't really know it yet they haven't really expressed it to you they could be hiding it um, they could be hiding from you, literally. Um, they could be writing letters to you. Um, and they, they could be just hiding from you, like, um, kind of just not expressing how they feel, but kind of like loving you from afar. Um, or you could be that person and, um, you could be making that connection soon or reaching out. Um, some of you guys encourage to have patience in your love life. If you feel like things aren't really moving smoothly or you could be just starting out talking to someone new, it could be still early in a relationship, you're encouraged to have patience. Like it's not time for you to basically think about marriage or kids if you're like three months in to a relationship, but just give it time, be patient, be open, have more fun, be more lighthearted. Um, some of you have been thinking about... <laughs> Like, really kinky toys as far as sex. Um, I don't know. It's like the string with beads on it. I don't know if some of you guys know about that. Um, a lot of anal sex and trying things, new things. Um, some of you guys really have these uh, fantasies of exotic men or women that you want to date or want to mingle with. Um, I do feel a sense that your fantasies could be fulfilled in traveling. So maybe you're bored in your dating life um, and you need people who are different from you hence if you're from america and you're tired of americans <laughs> you can go somewhere new kind of meet different types of people of men and women um and it's just trying just trying new things it doesn't even have to be always that extreme it could be just trying something you never tried before like yoga um going to a new change of scenery uh rock climbing trying new hobbies and you could just so happen to meet someone in in those atmospheres um i do feel like taking more risk is coming up <clears throat> for a lot of you because you're probably paying it way safe some of you guys don't even leave the house and you're expecting to get a boyfriend and girlfriend um online dating is kind of dead <laughs> um so i guess you're encouraged to really mingle in real life um really go out and get dressed and go out and you know really catch men or women and um start dating in that way to get numbers physically <laughs> um to actually interact in the adult world um and take chances you may be shot down you may not be but if you don't try you'll never know um same goes for me <laughs> um and anyone else who's single or mingling um 
not much sex stuff going on here. Only that you have to work on your sacral chakra. So whatever that means to you, whatever makes you feel sexy or wanted or feel good. Um, there's a lot of working on that energy center. Um, stay in your ground. So if you like someone, like them, tell them, let them know. Um, don't sway yourself or your opinion because of what others may think. Someone may be calling that girl a guy like, oh, they're bad news. Oh, they're this, they're that. They may be gossiped about or your friends may be just jealous. But if you like them, like them. If you don't, you don't tell them, let them know, let people around you know, like this is how it's going to go. This is our agreement. We're okay with it. That's that. <laughs> but yeah, that's it, you guys. That is your monthly tale reading for love, sex, and romance. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace.